How to add a brand slider to your Shopify website. Now, this video is going to be a complete step-by-step -step tutorial. So if you follow along by the end of this video, you will be able to add a brand slider to your Shopify store. Okay, so I will preface this by saying that this works with absolutely any theme. So all you need to do is open up your Shopify editor so that we can go ahead and start making changes to this. Now, as soon as that is opened right here, all you need to do is go to the first link in the description of this video. Go ahead and click on this and that will take you over to this website right here called Elfsite. Now, Elfsite is the software that we are going to be using in order to get the brand slider and actually add it to your Shopify store. The awesome thing about Elfsite as well is the fact that you can get started for free all you need to do is go ahead and enter in your email right here and um, basically click start and you can go through and create your free account. Now, once you have done that, once you have signed up to Elfsight, all you then need to do is click on widgets at the top right here. And you can see it's then going to show you all of the widgets that you can get with Elfsight. What you then want to do is at the top right here, we are looking for um, like a brand slider. So in here, look for logo and it's called the logo showcase right here. So all you then need to do once you have found this is click into the logo showcase and it's going to ask you, which one do you want to select? Do you want this one that you can like scroll along? This one that's a little bit bigger this one that's all in blue. So just go ahead and select one of these templates. I'm just going to go for this one right here. And then all you need to do once you have selected this is click on continue. It's then going to ask you to add in the logos or the brand that you have worked with. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this real quick. Uh, let's go for Adidas. Make sure that these are transparent as well are uh, super, super important. and then Nike as well. Okay, once that is done, all we need to do is add the logos in right here, just like that. And then as you can see, these will load in and you can add as many as you want here. Um, as I said, I'm just going to go for Adidas and Nike just as this example. Now, once you've added all of these in, uh, you can also customize like the header, which it says right here. You can add a call to action button. But once you've customized this and you're happy with how it looks, just click here on add to website and it's going to show you a preview of how this looks. So all we need to do is click on publish in this top right corner. It's then going to take you through and ask you to pick a plan. So the plan that you would pick depends on how many current monthly website views that you get. Now, if you're new to Elf site or you just want to test this out, all you need to do is go for the light plan right here, which is completely free. We can go ahead and select this. And then all we need to do from here is copy this code. Now, this is literally as simple as copy and paste. So all we need to do is go back over to Shopify, go to the template section right here, and then click add section. Once this big drop down menu opens up, just go for the custom liquid option right here. And then once that loads in, you can see it says liquid code on this right hand side. So all we need to do is paste the code in right here. Give it a few seconds and just like that, the brand slider is going to pop up right here. Now that is how you can add a brand slider to your Shopify website.